Okay, there are a ton of crazy Nintendo stories going on right now. One of them is just, I, I honestly can't even believe, can't even believe what I'm hearing. But we're gonna talk about all uh, three of them. We're gonna talk about three of them today in this video. And at the end of this video, I, re I really wanna touch uh, a little bit, a little bit more on the very last one. Why? Phil Spencer might be, might be the most out of touch person in gaming. The things that he has said, the things that he wants to do are, I just, I don't understand them. We're gonna talk about them. Maybe you guys can help me figure out what he's thinking in the comments below. But if you're new here, do me a favor, jump down in the description of this video very fast. Make sure you are following our podcast channel. Also make sure you're subscribed to this channel. We do a podcast over there though, every Thursday at 8 p.m. Eastern. You can also get it on the podcast platform of your choice. Wherever you like to listen to podcasts, make sure you get over there, get subscribed, do what you gotta do. But let's, let's start out with this one thing. Now this, this is something we already knew about. Now I'm, I'm gonna kinda go over the first two kinda quickly here. There were things that came out of the Activision Blizzard thing with Microsoft and FTC. A lot of the things that came out we got to see were, were pieces of, of documents. A lot of stuff was redacted, a lot of stuff was blacked out so you couldn't actually see what was said. Pretty cool news and it's kind of stuff that we've already been talking about and, and kind of speculating that that is the case. But it's a conversation between people at Activision, people at Nintendo, and this basically does confirm, we have, this is from a court, and, and now we see the rest of the documents. So this basically confirms that the new Switch, the Switch NG, as they're calling it, next gen, will be more on par with what we see from a PS4 or an Xbox One. Now, I know we have been talking about PS5 level graphics and PS5 level stuff, and we can totally still get that, but we'll touch on that in just a second. But this, this is very cool, because now we actually know what the real internal hardware specs are going to be. We know internally, this thing is going to be able to run things like a PlayStation 4 or an Xbox One. Now, what you have to remember is, we're also talking about what people saw at Gamescom last week where they're using DLSS to upscale things. This is PS4 hardware with DLSS added on top of it. So we're still going to get something that's very, very impressive, but this tells us exactly what the hardware is gonna be. So that is very cool. That's a fun thing. It's nice that we have some, some real confirmation on that. There was another thing I did want to touch on quickly to kind of back that up. Nintendo of America just listed a job looking for a data engineer for machine learning and DLSS. So, I, I mean, you know, anybody who, who's questioning the DLSS stuff, that's, that's kind, of, uh, it's kind of hard to question at this point since Nintendo is hiring somebody to do that. Okay, so the last thing I wanna talk about today is something I, I honestly, I, I can't even believe this is a thing. I can't even believe Phil Spencer thinks this can be a thing, but he clearly does. He's got a plan. He wants to buy Nintendo. Microsoft, Xbox, wants to buy Nintendo. And they're actively, they're actively trying to do this. They're buying shares. I'm gonna read you some of what Phil Spencer said in this email, but this email is, uh, this is something that was brought out from the FTC stuff with Activision Blizzard, all that. So I mean, this is this is a court document. I can't believe what I'm reading. I honestly can't believe it. I left the house, Jeeb sent me a link. I could not believe what I was hearing. Let me read you some of this stuff. I'll start, uh, I'll start here. So this is Phil Spencer talking, saying, I totally agree that Nintendo is the prime asset for us in gaming, and today's gaming is most likely our path to consumer relevance. Okay, so he's saying here that, yeah, Nintendo is the, Nintendo is the thing. If you're gonna buy something, if we're gonna get something, Nintendo is that thing, obviously. He says, I feel like that if any US company would have a chance with Nintendo, we are probably in the best position. Uh, yeah, you probably are. You probably are. Microsoft has endless money, so yeah, probably. The unfortunate or fortunate for Nintendo situation is that Nintendo is sitting on a big pile of cash. Okay, but this goes on and on. I'm, I'm just gonna kind of, I'm gonna, Pick a few lines here I wanna, I wanna go over. One thing I do wanna touch on here, it says in this email, he's actually, they have people over there actively buying stock in Nintendo, trying to get as much stock in Nintendo as they possibly can. Uh, also says that he doesn't think a hostile takeover is the right move. Like, yeah, no kidding, man. Like, whoa, like, why is that even a conversation? This is nuts. But this is the thing. This, this is the thing right here that really, just blows my mind. Okay, what, the last line here, I love this discussion of how you look into the opportunities here. At some point, getting Nintendo would be a career moment and I honestly believe a good move 
for both companies, no. No, it would not. It's just taking a long time for Nintendo to see that their future exists off their own hardware. A long time, dot, 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 smiley face. Okay, that is the part, that is the part, like where does he think that this is actually a good idea for both parties? Maybe for, for his party, for Xbox, for Microsoft, that would be massive. How would that be a good thing for Nintendo in any way? Sure, maybe to have their stuff on other people's systems, not being bought by Xbox, and, and basically being thrown in the Xbox dungeon just like all the other developers have. Every other developer, I mean, let's think about this. We're just now, just now starting to see some of the games from these developers that they bought years and years and years ago. And a lot of them aren't even, they're not, they're not doing very well. So is this really a good place for Nintendo to go? I wanna talk about hardware sales too. Just brought that up. Uh, he thinks that it is a good idea for Nintendo to be off their own hardware, and I'm assuming on Xbox platforms. Let's go ahead and take a look at that, because that is a very interesting idea. As of May 2023, the Nintendo Switch has sold 125.7 million units. The Xbox Series S and X combined have sold 21 million. Now, I know it hasn't been out as long, but uh, it, it it's not even close. It's not even close. They're not even selling what PlayStation is selling. They're at the bottom of the food chain here. So you tell me, please let me know how it's a good idea for Nintendo to move their stuff to that platform. I find this, it's mind blowing. The disconnect here, the, the fact that Phil Spencer is sending out emails to people speaking this way, talking this way, thinking that this is an actual thing that would be good for Nintendo. It's not good for Nintendo. It's, it's Microsoft having endless money, the deepest pockets of really anybody in gaming. And there's even more stuff in this article talking about them trying to buy WB games. They just want to buy everything. Think about this. Not only would Nintendo be leaving just all their IPs with Xbox to basically do what? To do what? I mean, I'm sure things would kind of stay the same. People would be brought in. Think about how crazy that would be. Nintendo does not need to be anywhere but on their own hardware. I know the Switch is great. We see that doing amazing. The Wii U did not do well. The Wii did fine. We, we made a whole video about all that stuff. We don't need to get into that. But what they've done just in the Switch era, just what they've done in the Switch era at this point shows that they don't need anybody. Not only are they doing fantastic with their hardware, their software, but they now have amusement parks. They're making movies. They're making their game IPs into movies. Tell me how uh, how that worked out for Microsoft. How's the Halo show? What's that on, Paramount Plus? Did you watch it? I tried, wasn't very good. It was, it was bad. There is absolutely zero reason why Nintendo would ever need to move off of their own platform. They don't need to do it. The fact that Phil Spencer thinks that that would be a good move for both of them just shows, I don't know, that's a very arrogant, very arrogant statement to make and it seems seems very disconnected from what's actually happening right now. But uh, I have I have ranted and raved about this long enough. Let me know what you guys think about this in the comments. I am gonna be recording another video today. I have this Binbot controller. Hopefully this video's coming up today. This one's gonna be out tomorrow, but guys, that is all I have for this one. As always, thank you so much for watching this video. Please leave a like. Make sure you are subscribed. We'll see you in the next one.